Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to do this grocery haul. I ended up going to Target, Aldi, and just like a local produce market here. And um, yeah, I picked up um, some things. The kids are going to be off school for a few days. So there's a little bit more snacks than usual. And um, I had to restock my pantry for a few things too. So, But we'll start um, from Aldi. I got two bags of chips, uh, sour cream and onion, and then just a plain wavy. Each kid prefers a different one. So um, there are five points for 13 chips. I don't think that's too bad. I got some wide egg noodles, and these are actually six points for half of a cup dry, so that's going to be like a big amount. Um, it is Lent, so on Fridays we don't eat meat, so I picked these up for just like an alternative, just in case, you know, I was working and I didn't get home until late. So it's the shrimp and crab ravioli. It's seven points for seven of them, and they're not too bad of a size. And they were only like $3.50. I decided just to give them a try, and I figured if I could serve them up with um, some spaghetti squash and um, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So, I don't know. Well, I'll let you guys know how these go. I got some of these peanut butter crackers for Sophia. These are only like a buck. Honey buns. Um, I think these are four points for a two-pack. And these honey buns are nine points. I can't believe it. Rebecca loves those. Uh, I got a thing of limes for free, cilantro for free, green onion for free. I got a thing of bananas, um, tomatoes. I got two packs of zucchini. All those are free. I got a thing of powdered peanut butter. I ran out. So um, this is one point for two tablespoons, and it was $3. So that's pretty good size. Um, a thing of Fit and Active Chicken Broth for zero. I was running low on stevia, so I picked that up. I got some, like, cheese crackers. They're 28 for five points. So that's not too bad. If you just want to have, like, a sandwich, I think that would be pretty good. And then I got a thing of white bread. That's two points for one slice. And then here's my canned goods. Uh, I get these diced tomatoes. They have basil, garlic, and oregano in them. I like them. I use them for my sauce and stuff like that. And I'm thinking of doing like a chili. So, um, yeah. And then I got two things of the great, greater nor great northern beans. And I got three cans of this diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. I really like this stuff. So, and I like to have it on hand. I got two cans of the, Rebecca, sorry guys. I got two cans of the fat-free reed fry beans. Okay, sorry. All beans are zero, guys. Um, and then I got two cans of their garbanzo beans for zero, and two cans of the black beans for zero. I got a thing of the Fit and Active bread. This is two points for, what is it? One point for two slices, I think it is. Um, and then I got a thing of brown gravy mix. Couple packages of that actually. Um, this is these party pizzas. I get these for the kids, for like Rebecca and Sophia. I don't eat them, but if you guys were interested, they are 10 points for half a pizza. I got a thing of eggs. We usually get a lot more, but they were $1.25, and I usually get them for less than a buck, so I'll probably just go to Walmart sometime this week. I picked up a thing of sweet onions, a thing of lemons. Uh, a thing of pink lady apples, you know, all veggies are zero. So over at Target, I guess, you know what guys, if you look for this extra lean ground turkey breast, it's very expensive and Target has been the cheapest place I could find it for, it's $4.50 a pound. That is pretty good because I haven't been able to get it for less than six bucks a pound. So I picked up one of these. I've been wanting to try uh, this like kind of easy butternut squash. I thought it was free until I scanned it. They say it's one point for three fourths a cup, so I just gave it a try. I got it for pretty cheap too. Um, I got two of these drop-ins um, for like pitchers of juice for the kids, and then I picked up. I love, 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 love this. This is the iced coffee from Starbucks and the blonde roast. It's unsweetened, so it's zero points, and I just. Um, add whatever syrups I want and some fat-free half and half and guys it tastes just like a Starbucks drink and this thing costs four bucks one drink for me at Starbucks cost 3.90 so it was worth it to me so I picked one of these up 
I'm down to only one cup of coffee a day um, because I do drink like the my teamy tea three times a day so I just enjoy one cup of iced coffee and it's amazing I picked up two cans of the 98% fat free cream of mushroom soup um, two points for a half a cup I'm planning on doing like a beef stroganoff for dinner one night that's why I got like the egg, egg, white egg noodles and all that stuff I got I thought I got three cantaloupe I guess I only got two um, we're at the local produce market now, guys. So this is what I got at the local produce market. I think of two things of cantaloupe. I got another large butternut squash because um, it was 49 cents a pound. And I went there after I went to Target. And I was like, well, if I don't like it, then I'll just eat it anyways because I don't like to waste stuff. And I'm trying to replace one, like my lunch, with a vegetable. So, um, yeah, that's what I got. And I got some blackberries because they were 99 cents. And I got a couple of those. And then I got two things of grapes because they were also 99 cents. All right, these are, this is for the kids. So um, my middle daughter, Sophia, she has her father-daughter dance tonight. And the two other ones don't get to go. And the baby's like really jealous. So I told her we'll kind of do something fun. I've always done this. Like when Rhea used to go to the dance and Sophia couldn't go, I would do like a fun night with her. Um, so I got her some cookies we're gonna bake. These are seven points for one cookie. But so I'm not gonna have any, but Rebecca's really excited. And then like I said, they're gonna be home um for the next couple days. So I picked up these powdered donuts for them. I know not the healthiest guys, but it's his life. Um I got a pack of these Cara Cara um oranges. Um, I've been hearing such great things about them and they were on sale for $2.99 for this bag. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a whirl. I heard they're delicious. So I picked those up. Oh, and then Rebecca loves these things. And so does Sophie. And they're kind of easy. Um, the Raymond noodles. They're for half of these. I used to love these when I was pregnant with Rebecca. That's all I ate. That's the only thing I could stomach. Um, so a half of these is six points. Guys, when I was pregnant with Rebecca, I used to eat three of them at one sitting. Oh my gosh. And then I went ahead and I picked up some uh, laundry soap. And then I bought myself, let me show you, bought myself some new workout leggings because you guys know I'm doing the Couch to 5K app and I'm really trying to get into running and hopefully this weather breaks so I can try to learn to run outside because from what I'm told, running inside and running outside are totally two different things. And I'm planning on trying to do a 5K in the fall. So I really like want to be good at it because I want to like run the whole 5K. So I picked up these pants. They are from the brand Champion. And they were on clearance. I don't know if you could see. For $13.98. But then um, Champion had a cartwheel deal where it was additional 30% off. So I paid $10 bucks for them. And I don't know if you could see... But they have like this like cute design in them. And I just wanted some like cute white leggings. Because I feel like when I have cute workout clothes, I want to work out. I know, I know. Probably not the case, but I did. So, all right, guys. So this is my haul here. And I hope it gives you guys some ideas on like what to buy and kind of what my staples are and what I always like to have on hand just to make, um, you know, doing this whole Weight Watchers thing a little bit easier and stuff like that. All right, I will see you on the next video. If you do like these videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up and um, subscribe so you can watch more of my stuff. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, memory, talk to me. I kind of want to understand what you mean when you say her and me, we never ever should have played it this real Got me down